Greetings everyone, Irish Trekkie, back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review update. Um, welcome to today's video. Um, I decided to put this together uh, because um, a lot of people seem to like the news on the Enterprise F. And it got me thinking that maybe people aren't aware of some of the resources out there. So um, I'm going to go through issues 144 to 150 to kind of give you uh, a what's next look at um, the ships coming up. But uh, I want to direct you to the description box below because um, I want to bring your attention to some fantastic resources. Uh, we have the Memory Alpha page, which uh, has a wealth of information about all of the collections. There's also Calamary's page as well, which has fantastic content uh, in relation to the collection as well. And also check out the fan uh, Hero Collector group over on Facebook. Um, fantastically run, great community over there as well, and always a great uh, resource of um, uh, information is available there as well. So, as I said, we're going to have a look at issues 144 to 150. Um, from the last video, as you can see playing in the bottom of the screen there, we had the Merchantman, and it was announced on the back of that that we're going to be having Gum 2, aka Tin Man, as issue 144. So, um, this is the intelligent life form that we saw in um, season 3, episode 20 of TNG. This is the... Um, life form biological starship that had a symbiotic relationship with its crew and uh, lived in the alpha quadrant and beyond for millennia as well so very interesting i'm i'm keeping my expectations low on this ship uh, because the image doesn't scream awesome uh, to me uh, in this instance um, as you can see the kind of uh, on-screen version kind of looks cool the kind of illuminated parts which you can't do on these models um but we we'll see um they can be quite saturated uh on the promos um and it could be quite different but we're not gonna have too much longer to wait uh to see on that issue 145 we have the nightingale so um this is the ship that harry kim captained in uh voyagers season seven episode eight um, where he took command of a Kralor starship, um, which was a medical class transport vessel. Um, I think it was uh, Transport 136, if memory serves. Um, very similar design um, to the Keenite among you there, but obviously with some slight differences. Um, you can see there's a difference in scaling here when you look at all the windows and stuff. Curious to get my hands on it. Um, I will say that. And... Um, Again, celebrate Captain Kim's first command. <laughs> uh, issue 146 brings a classic to the forefront here as well. So we have, I'll be zooming there a little bit. Uh, this is the starship from the Corbinite Maneuver original series. Now, uh, this is the Viserys. So this was the starship operated by the First Federation. Um, massive craft um again i'm keeping my anticipation low on this my expectations um it is again a spherical ship uh, i'm looking at kind of some of the paint bleed on the darker components there as well we'll see we'll see my mind could be completely blown away when i get this in hand as well but only time will tell um issue 147 we have a raider so this is the ship that um was captained by arctis baran so this is the raider where uh it showed up in the episode gambit um in tng season seven so we had captain picard being um forcibly made a member of the crew over here and um the, the captain was in search of the stone of gaul and um, again, an iconic raider, I think, from uh, for TNG fans. Um, I hope it's not as bright in hand. Like those yellow components do seem to kind of stand out. When you look at the kind of the on-screen illumination of it here, it does. You can kind of see the color variance over here, but it, it's a bit more um, toned down. So maybe we'll get that in the in the. Um, Practical model that we'll be getting in issue 147. So issue 148, we have the Dominion battleship. Now, 
Um, it's been a long time since we had a Dominion ship, and the bug ship was amazing. And uh, this one looks pretty good. It doesn't look as big as I thought it would be in comparison to the base, but it does look like it does look like it has some nice paint applications on it. Um, this was the ship I think was first seen in uh, the episode Valiant, which was season six twenty two. Um, if it if it's like the other Dominion ships, it'll be a nice model. That's all I'll say. We'll see what we'll see what it'll uh, we'll see what it'll be like when we eventually get um, issue one hundred and forty eight. Coming in at issue 149, we have the Krenum uh, warship. Now, this is not the time ship. We've already had the, the, the big time ship uh, variant of uh, the Krenum fleet. But this is the ship that was operated by the Krenum in the 24th century. Um, this is a big ship, uh, bigger than Voyager, and uh, I think it overpowered Voyager technically. Um, but we have a very good crew, don't we? Um, I think it was seen in uh, Season 3, Episode 21, uh, Before and After, I think was the first version of this ship. And then, obviously, we have Year of Hell, um, where we have the, the time ship and such. Um, yeah, the orange could be a difficult colour to pull off when you're applying it to a ship. But it's nice to see some of the plastic components here. Windows look nice and vibrant. They don't look like they're moulded in, so alignment shouldn't be an issue. Seams look a bit kind of uh, seamy, you know, a little bit too much separation there. Um, we'll see. We, we'll we'll see what it's like. Some, but again, some fantastic variety coming up over the next kind of six uh, ships. It's not the last one though, because we do have issue one hundred and fifty. We have a modified Miranda, and again, we have another modified. You might be screaming down the the YouTube TV to me. Um, you can never have too many Mirandas, especially with the quality that are put into the past ones, like the Saratoga, the Miranda, the uh, Lantry. Now we're going to have the Antares. Very interesting design. Um, we have a different uh, kind of AWACS style uh, sensor um, weapon modules as well. And this was seen in Deep Space Nine. I believe the first time it came up was Season 6, Episode 5, Favour the Bold. Um, you can barely see it there in the screen cap. But, um, listen, it's going to be good. I think this is going to be a good one. I don't want to over-anticipate it, but I think we're going to be in for a good one there. Um, but that kind of wraps up our issue run-through from 144 to 150. If you want to see me uh, do another video with uh, other ships confirmed, but without any issue detailing, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want me to have a look at what's coming up in the Discovery Collection or the Excel line, um, I'd be more than happy to put a video together. Uh, do check out those resources in the description box below because, again, a lot of time is put into them by members of the community. And um, I do think they need to be celebrated. So, bravo. Um, after the video, maybe check out some of my other unboxing reviews. And uh, you can find me over on Twitter, Instagram, and in the Facebook group as well. And if you're so inclined, you can definitely support the channel by subscribing and sharing the video and also over on Patreon as well. Gives me um, further options to, again, continue to create, hopefully, quality content for you all. Um, as always, thanks for stopping by and um, let me know what your favourite or least favourite in the 144 to 150 category. And uh, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and have a great day. Bye bye.